Let's quickly discuss some of the interesting highlights from the recent Gennady Quickvinia and Levan Saginashvili interviews with Devin Larratt. And then later on, we'll talk about some of the upsets or setbacks that can potentially happen on tonight's East vs. West card. So Gennady Quickvinia told Devin that the surgery that he had on his bicep recently, it took more time than what the doctors and Gennady himself expected. It took about 7 hours, but the recovery has been going perfectly. Gennady has full faith in the doctors. He actually had full faith even before the surgery and it turned out to be true. The surgery was a success and he is about to return to his peak shape. He is not there yet. That's why he wants to take his next match in October against potentially a number 10 ranked kind of guy not above that and maybe not too much below that as well but that's where he wants to be that's where he sees the sweet spot when Gennady discussed a potential rematch with Devin Lerritt Devin got a little bit excited he said that right now he's down in weight but he will come back for sure so it looks like Devin is also kind of confused just like the rest of us whether Devin is going to come back to super heavyweights or not because he keeps on changing his mind on this subject. In one video, he says that he's done competing at the super heavyweight division and in another, he says that he will come back to the supers for sure. So it looks like he may be coming back but not as soon as we would want him to. Because Devon also knows that the real money, the real fame and the real interest of the fans which is most important is actually in the super heavyweight division. Devon is the Conor McGregor of arm wrestling. So maybe he can popularize the 105 kg category just like the supers but it is still going to be a really difficult task even for him. Until then the super heavyweight category is the place where the real money is. Levan Saginashvili also wants a third super match against Devil Lerritt. Looks like Levan is just looking for some easy money because let's be honest. When you're competing against Devon, you definitely get the highest paycheck that you have ever received in your life. And nobody wants to deny that whether they believe they can defeat Devon, whether they believe they cannot defeat Devon, or whether they believe it is a complete mismatch. They still want that match to happen. So unless Devon cleans up the super heavyweight division one more time, just like he did the last year, I wouldn't want to see this rematch. And that seems to be a really difficult task. Because yes, Devon did it comfortably in 2023, except for the Gennady Quickvinia match. But it is not going to be as easy once Devon is, let's say, 51 years old. So these Gennady Quickvinia and Levan Saginashvili rematches may in fact never happen. While talking about the first round in the Levan vs Devon match, both said that they felt some part that they have never felt before. Levan said that his whole body was completely tight, he had to give it all he had. And Devon said that his whole back was cracking and in fact in one of the other videos, Devon also mentioned that it was hurting for quite a while after the super match. Levan Saginashvili does not think that he doesn't have any worthy opponent as of now. In the line of potential opponents, for Levan, Hermes Gasparini is number one. Then Alex Kordeche can be a potential opponent, Vitali Laliton, Artyom Morozov, Jerry Kedret, Gennady Kvyakvinia. And after being asked by Devon, Levan does not consider Georgi Zaranov to be in this list yet. Devon and Levan had a $100 bet on the Evgeny Prudnik vs Irakli Zirakashvili match. We will discuss this match later on but let's quickly discuss some of the potential upsets that can happen on this card. Artem Ternenko vs Toms Rosits. I don't think there is going to be any upset here. Toms is the favorite and he will win 3-0. Then Adam Vorzinski vs Vladimir Mayrov. I think both of them are close. Anyone can win. Maybe Adam gets the job done. Zurab Tavbaridze vs Petro Margarint. Zurab can win this match in a hook if Nugzari Chikadze was able to beat Petro in a hook. Then Zurab can do that as well. But can he prevent his wrist from getting taken? That's the big question. Carolina is the favorite against Olga. Then Chan Shaw is really good against hook pullers but Ibrahim's style of setting the hook it is kind of a press move it's really really different than other hook arm wrestlers and I think he's the favorite to win this match Dimitrina should be the favorite she should be able to get this match in a hook against Ayane then Daniel Prokopchuk although already having a loss against Bojidar in a tournament in 2023 still is the favorite to win this match and I think he can get the job done Artem Tainov if he can top roll Sasho Andreev I think he can top roll Beth Kilionyani as well. Travis Bajant was initially an underdog but he was being hyped by Devon Laird so much and also because of his recent performance and his shape in the Derek Smith match, he has now become a favorite. So maybe according to some people, Sergey winning will be an upset 
especially according to Devon. That's where I think the first upset is. I think Sergey is going to win this match comfortably. Maybe not comfortably in the first round, but then later on, I think he can even use the press move to defeat Travis Bajant. Barbora versus Agile. Barbora is the favorite, but I think Agile can get the job done. Top rolling Gabriela, who has beaten Agile in the past, maybe a little bit easier than top rolling Agile Vetkute just because of her forearm length. And maybe it's a stylistically good matchup for Agile, and she can win this one. Then we have Todd Hutchings versus Krasimir. I think this one is going to be an upset. I think Krasi can get the job done. He wants to win this super match desperately, way more than Todd Hutchings, and I think he will win this one. Then Evgeny Prunik versus Irakli Zarakashvili. Devon has bet $100 with Levan that Evgeny is going to win this one and Levan has said that it is easy money, easiest bet of his life. There is nothing that Prudnik can do against this version of Irakli who recently practiced with Levan Sagnashvili. So Levan knows what's up. So he thinks that Irakli can win this one. I think this also might be one of the potential upsets. Then Dadikian versus Petrenko. Dadikian should be a slight favorite, but I don't think many people will be surprised if Oleg can win this match, especially after looking at his recent performance against Kidragali Ongarbayev. I think Samushya is going to lose his title to Sasha Andreev, who is the favorite to win this super match. Then Vitaly Lalitin versus Morozov. I think it will be a huge upset if Morozov wins this match, but I don't think he will. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.